The first two videos in this series are about clarity of vision and purpose. Who are you becoming? What are you committed to creating in your life? What future are you living into? What is that problem that you're best placed to solve? These questions are at the core of what our purpose is. Life is a constant process of change. Every new day, every new month, every experience, every challenge. These are opportunities to just recalibrate and reassess what direction we're going. It's important that we're clear about what our purpose is because that really sets the tone and shapes the direction of our lives. There's a saying that if you don't know where you're going, then it doesn't matter what road you take. Some people get stuck because what they're directing their energy to is not aligned with what they're being called to do. One question I often get asked is, how do I know what I'm to become? Another way to say this is, how do I know what my purpose is? There are three questions I find very effective in getting to the heart of what your purpose is. The first is, what are you passionate about? What are you energized by? What is that thing that you do even if you're not getting paid? What do you love to do? The second question is, what change do you want to effect in the world? Where do you see a need that should be addressed? Perhaps it's a product that needs enhancement or a cause that you want to advocate. The third is, what are your strengths? What are you good at? The intersection of these three is your purpose. An entrepreneur went through this exercise with me recently. He had a passion for generating ideas and seeing things bloom. He had a deep desire to move people from suffering to abundance. And he had strengths around strategic thinking, problem solving, and human relations. He identified his purpose as using his strengths around strategic thinking and his desire to create things, to build an organization that would not only create jobs for a lot of people, but would have a culture that uplifts and empowers people. I invite you to take some time to reflect on these three questions Get in tune with what your purpose is. Let that clarity help to bring energy into the present moment. Sometimes people confuse passion and strength and wonder which to follow. When making important decisions, people have been told, follow your heart or your passion. There's another school of thoughts that says, when making important life decisions, go with your strengths because you may have a passion for something, but if you don't have the skills, then you're not likely to do very well. I would say what's needed is balance. If you can find purpose and meaning in what you're doing, or you can find a position that interests and attracts you whilst also leveraging your strengths, that would be the sweet spot. You would have found the balance that a lot of successful people enjoy. This can also be applied to organizations. Most businesses start with an entrepreneur's passion and energy directed towards an unmet need, identifying gaps in the market that need to be addressed. In 1985, there were a number of search engines. Did the world need another search engine? The answer at the time was not so obvious. Two entrepreneurs had a passion for making it easy for people to find information. They saw how difficult it was to find the information you needed on the internet and they wanted to change that. They had skills around software design and development. Leveraging those skills fueled by their passion to make it easy to find information, the company we now know as Google was born. The journey towards going beyond limits begins with a first step, that of identifying what your purpose is. To succeed, you must connect with your purpose because that would help you to take the right steps to help you emerge as a winner.